Welcome to this tutorial on how to set up the Google Maps API in Bubble.io. The Google Maps API is a powerful tool that allows you to add rich, interactive maps to your Bubble app. Whether you want to retrieve real-time location data, display map markers for your users, or provide address auto-completion, Google Maps can significantly enhance your app's functionality. While Bubble.io provides a Google Maps integration in the test environment, once you're ready to publish your app live, you'll need to set up your own Google Maps API keys to continue using the map and geolocation features. This is a critical step to ensure your app can provide live maps, address searches, and other essential location-based services. In this video, I'll walk you through the entire process from getting your Google Maps API keys from Google Cloud to configuring them within your Bubble app. By the end, you'll be ready to display fully functional maps and utilize powerful features like address autocompletion and geolocation. Let's get started. Step one, get Google Cloud API keys. The first step is to obtain your Google Maps API key from Google Cloud. Go to the Google Cloud console at console.cloud.google.com. If you don't have an account, sign up and create a new project. Please note, when creating your new account, you will need to provide any billing information as a requirement from Google. Click Select a Project in the top navigation bar and choose New Project. Name your project, for example, Bubble Maps Integration, and click Create. Next, you need to enable the necessary APIs. Go to the API and Services dashboard that can be found in the Quick Access section in the center of the screen. In the search bar, type Maps JavaScript API and right-click to open it in a new tab. Repeat the same steps for Geocoding API. Geolocation API. Time Zone API and Places API, which are essential for location search and autocomplete features. Once all these tabs are open, go through each one and click Enable. It will take Google some time to generate each API key. While these are generating, head back over to the main Google Search Console tab, then over to the Credentials tab, click Create Credentials at the top of the screen and select API key. Now click Edit API key and we will be redirected to the key setting page. First rename your API key to Client. Under Application Restrictions, click HTTP Referrers, Websites, which will open up a new Website Restrictions section. To make sure your app is the only app that has access to this API key, we can enter your app's domain followed by a star. If you haven't published your app to, to the live environment yet, you can enter your bubble test domain in this box. Just remember to change it to your domain before going live. Go ahead and click Save, but please note, it may take up to five minutes before any changes come into effect. We now want to repeat this process for the server key. Go ahead and click Create Credentials and Edit API Key. Rename your key to Server. Scrolling down to the API Restrictions section, we can select Restrict Key and a drop-down box will appear with all the APIs we enabled earlier. Select all five API keys and click Save. Step 2. Configuring Bubble.io for Google Maps. Now that you've got your API key, let's configure it in Bubble.io. Open your Bubble app and go to Settings in the left-hand menu. Navigate to the API tab under General, where you'll see a section labelled General Services API Keys. Paste your server key into Google Geocode API key and the client key into the Google Map API key.
Once you've pasted your key, save the settings. Bubble will now have access to Google Maps functionalities. Step 3. Unlocking the full potential of Google Maps API in your Bubble app. Now that you know why setting up your own Google Maps API key is essential, let's talk about what you can do with it once integrated into your Bubble app. The Google Maps API opens the door to several powerful features, giving your app advanced mapping and geolocation capabilities. You can display interactive maps directly in your app, allowing users to visualize locations. These maps can be customized with markers, directions, and data points, creating a highly engaging experience. With the API, you can also capture and store user location data for tracking where users are located, offering location-based services, or displaying nearby points of interest. Geolocation-based conditions can also be set up, allowing you to trigger workflows based on a user's location, such as entering or exiting a geographic area. This can be particularly useful for implementing geofencing or showing location-specific content. Address auto-completion is another popular feature, allowing users to quickly fill in address fields with real-time suggestions. Additionally, you can calculate the distance between two points, which is perfect for offering services like route planning or delivery. The API also enables route planning and provides users with step-by-step -step directions, improving navigation and overall user convenience. With all these possibilities, the Google Maps API becomes an essential tool for any app that requires geolocation or interactive mapping features. In the following steps, I'll show you exactly how to set it up in Bubble.io so you can take full advantage of these functions. Step four, testing and debugging. Now it's time to test everything. Add a map element to your test page and set the marker address to current geographic position. Preview your app and check if the map loads correctly. If the map doesn't load, double check that your API key is correct and that all the required APIs are enabled in Google Cloud. That's it. You've successfully integrated Google Maps into your Bubble app, enabling users to interact with maps, geolocate addresses, and more. Whether you're building a delivery app, a store locator, or a travel platform, integrating maps is a game changer for your app's user experience. Thanks for watching, and I hope this tutorial was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Bubble.io tutorials.